What a, uh, this tiny but very important uh, YouTube series has returned and will be taught in Star Sign Education. I think I meant uh, you will be taught in Star Sign Education, but regardless. For today, Miss Pisces. I refer to uh, Capricorn as Mr. School, as Mr. Pi uh, Capricorn, can't speak today, as Mr. Capricorn. However, Pisces far more seems to fit a female. Uh, it just feels more female. So, Miss Pisces, the teacher of art, spiritualism, and maybe even religion. The Pisces is the water sign of peace, uh, perhaps even tranquility and balance. However, Libra seems to be more about balance out of all the, the signs. But out of all the, the uh, water signs, Pisces may be the uh, water star sign of uh, balance. Primarily peace. It can be very deep in their flows of emotion. It can be said to be a bit distant, but is quite friendly and is an uh, intuitive individual person with a mind frame for seeing your inner self. Or at least, what it is the Pisces considers to be your inner self, as the Pisces can be a sign that is quite biased. The Pisces, they seem to be in their own little imaginary world, if you were. Not so much like Cancer, as I will touch up upon in Cancer, a star sign that is more in their little world out of imagination and introversion, the Pisces, they are, they seem to be more in their own little world as a means of a, a subconscious way of neglecting reality in favour of, I guess, what could be said to be naivety. However, that's not always true. For one, naivety is not even a real word, except a word used by atheists to mock people of religion. But a Pisces is far, is far more connected to the artistic and the uh, figurative or non-literal, but also to the uh, literal but non-physical, or the literal and physical, such as the paranormal or the spiritual. There's also all in this little conversation. Uh, the Pisces, they seem to be more in time, uh, aligned with something like the spiritual, as they are more likely to just be around, they either themed after the spiritual, basing everything in their lifestyle after such things, for example, art or just paintings, or can uh, be in a position to speak to the dead, for example, a psychic or a fortune teller, or a psychic as a fortune teller predicts your future. They have different names, psychic, fortune teller, they're not the same thing, atheists mocking religion. They're not the same thing. Pisces can be basically either way. By being quote unquote naive and uh, neglecting everything in favour of having a peaceful mind frame or uh, be more of a realist. Um, but uh, stick to the truth, paranormal creatures are actually real because paranormal creatures or ghosts are actually real. So, uh, the Pisces, they're assigned for the mind and the spiritual, more so than uh, Cancer or Aquarius, far more. However, Pisces may in fact be more the nurturing or a motherly figure. So, for fictional examples of, uh, fictional examples that I can use for Pisces, I'm not I'm not really certain if these are the actual star signs of the characters, but Phoebe from Friends, oh, fitting, Phoebe from Friends, as they are quite cutsy and bimbo-y, but not completely stupid, and Zan from Farscape. If you like science fiction, but you haven't heard of uh, Farscape, I highly suggest Farscape. It's criminally underrated, except in Australia or people that have Channel 4. Here's a fun fact. 
Dinotopia had a spin-off series that was on Channel 4. Maybe Channel 5. Yay, Dinotopia! Spin-off series. Uh, it really doesn't seem to be as good. I wonder if it's part of the canon. I should really binge watch the series. If I have the opportunity. That's more circumstantial. I have a lot of things to watch for Halloween, you know. The Halloween of the 2019. So, oh, well, the 28th or 29th of October, it will be this channel's first year anniversary. So, that's coming. That's pretty cool. The Pisces is a water sign. That's a, uh, and just like any water sign, their emotion is more of a fluid. Very deep and very fluid. I uh, can't find the planet. Oh, the planet is Neptune. From the uh, 19th of February to the 20th of March. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, for minutes I thought uh, Pisces was just after Capricorn. For well, the two videos of tomorrow, I will try and do the star signs of my parents. My father, a Sagittarius. My mother, an Aquarius. Oh, and Pisces is represented by a fish. Hence Pisces, pisk, being from the prefix pisk, used to mean like Piscivarian, or the prefix for fish. Hence a fish-eating creature being a Piscivarian. For example, Spinosaurus aegypticus. A dinosaur that was a Piscivarian. So, for tomorrow I will do Sagittarius, Aquarius. Probably in that order, probably not in that order. Represented by... I'll explain in the uh, next videos. In the meantime, please, give me your opinion in the YouTube comment section. I'm not a mindless troll that mocks the YouTube comment section, mocks the arguing, baits arguing, or anything. I'm smart, so tell me everything you know in the comment section. Perhaps you can tell me your sign. Oh, and I don't know if you have actually forgotten, but for the last video, it will be my star sign. So. Try and place a few bets in the comment section. I might even heart a sign, a uh, comment that uh, actually matches the element. So please tell me your opinion in the comment section.